Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in and see how the African Nightcrawlers are doing. Gave them some pumpkin last time, so let's see what they're doing. Hopefully they haven't eaten it all. I'm kind of hoping to see a worm ball or something. Wow, that has been, there's just a little bit left. These guys are just going crazy. It's usually this time of year that they slow down some. Oh, there we go. That's, that, that's a little bit of a worm ball. It's not the best. I am going to have to uh, definitely get them some more food. That's pretty crazy. It's not even been a full week, and out of all that pumpkin that I left them, this is all there is left. Huh. All right. Well, these guys have certainly been underestimated as far as their food needs go. Hmm. All right. Well, let me look and see if the other bins of the African night crawlers are in the sh same shape. All right. Here's One bin second. number two. Let's see what we've got here. If I had to guess, I'd say it was at this end. Avocado. Another avocado. Here's some seeds. But again, it's really not even been a week. Well, that's just crazy. I'm keeping it quite a bit warmer in here this year, so maybe they're, they think it's still summer. And no, yeah, nothing left less than a week. Okay, I've got one more bin of the African night crawlers, and then we will have to feed them up. Let's see, here is bin number three. This one sort of had the lid on it a little bit, so you can see where they were crawling and pure castings. Let's, let's take a look here and see what we can find. We might just have to go get them another pumpkin. Yeah, there's nothing left but the, the skin. Wow. So, although they are you know, all the worms do seem to be congregating on this side. I really thought there would be, I mean, yes, they are doing a nice job staying over here, but really thought there would still be quite a bit of pumpkin left. And there is not. So I'm going to have to go get pumpkin out of my pumpkin stash and feed them up again. I'm going to not have an easy time keeping them down at the one end if I can't keep them fed see what the rest of the bin is doing if there's very many worms. Not really. There seems to be definitely the greatest conger, um, the greatest concentration of worms is definitely at the pumpkin end, but uh, they're not gone from the rest of the bin though. So it is, it is going as planned, just they're going through that pumpkin way faster than I thought they would. All right, I will bring you back when I have more pumpkin. All right, back with the pumpkin. I'm gonna make sure we do a good fluff on this. Because I am gonna want to be harvesting these castings and moving over all of the items that are not completely gone through and move them into the uh, vermi bag when I get it. So let's move things back here and make room for some more pumpkin. Big concentration of worms but I still don't see the food so I'm gonna give them more pumpkin. All right, let's cover that up.
You can see a couple of sprouts, but I've been taking the seeds out, uh, drying those for my brother-in-law. He wants to plant his own pumpkins, so that does help with the weird sprouts you get if you leave the right. seeds in. Let's fluff up this bin just a little bit more. This bin seems to have a greater concentration of worms throughout, not just the, the feeding zone. So maybe disturb them just a little bit. Dry out the bin a little so that it'll be easier to harvest in a couple of weeks. Alright, so take over this top layer here and add some more pumpkin. Keep everybody on the ends and then hopefully I can get that bin started with a large number of worms. Got my supervisor here with me today, keeping an eye, making sure that I'm doing everything correct. Isn't that right, Boo? Back to the worms. Okay, we'll cover that back up. See if they can't make some progress on those avocado pits. Then I've got one There's more last bin. bin. Gonna get that fluffed up as well. Food at that end. Make sure get everything churned up. Trying to make sure to keep the moisture good this year. Last year I really did struggle with it being too dry. This year I've decided to run a humidifier in this room for the orchids because they struggled a little last year as well. So I'm, it seems to be helping uh, at least the bins that are upstairs here. All right, let's. Pull everything back and get some pumpkin. All right, get all the stuff that needs to make a little more progress in there. Cover them up. I think this bin is staying at a really nice moisture right now. Yeah, more vines. All right. All right. Well, that is the end of the African Nightcrawlers for today. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.